Welcome to Second Chance Garage. Okay. I have a welder plug right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, I'll move it back. I'll move you guys back here in a minute. But during the house fire, they need to power right inside. So this is a separate run of 220. It doesn't power any of the rest of the shed. It just runs my welder. Okay. Well, like in the last video, the real long one I did, <laughs> I found out the hard way that there was no power there. So this is what I did. All right. The whole point is I've got this electric stove that I want to power. Okay, so what I did was I made an extension cord. I'll show you. Let's see. Let me unhook it here. Okay. Let me unhook this. There. I made this extension cord with. I don't know if I'm going to post that video or not, but okay, that's my welder plug. That's what I use for 220 welder plug. Then I cut a piece, got a piece, and then put this female end onto the cord, this cord. So I don't know how long it is. Let's see if I can back up or nothing. Yeah, it's probably. Uh, four foot or so, I'd say. I mean, it. all right. Then I have, let me set this down here. I have an extension cord for my welder, which I'll show you. <laughs> it just happens to be right here. All right. I had to make an adapter because I had to make that extension cord because the end on my stove has two slanty ones and a straight one. Well, as you can see, the welder plug doesn't have that. <laughs> right. This is what my welder plug's got. So, I have a 25 foot extension cord for my welder. And I've got an air compressor. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's sitting right over there, that red one. Uh, you can barely see it. And behind that, I have another 220 that's wired into the rest of the with the rest of the garage. So I took my welder extension cord I had made, plugged it in there, ran it across the garage to Move you up closer, maybe. Uh, right here. Okay. Two. This is it. I'm, it's probably 25 feet, 30 feet long. Okay. Then I took. So this is for like plugging into this 220 normally. That's how I do it. So I can drag. I can plug that cord into the cord into here and then weld all the way out in the middle of my driveway. That way you don't have issues, you know. All right. So then I made this cord with the end for the stove. That's got the stove end on it. And this is a four foot cord, but it's got my welder plug in on this end. So what I can do is I've got my welder extension cord and I've got the welder end on this. So I just plug this into here. And then I just take this with on the four foot cord and I can just plug this there and just like that you have power at your stove 
So, anyway, I originally made this, if I post that long video, of making the four foot cord. It's a really long video, so I don't know if I'm going to post it. But, uh, of making this four foot cord here. And it's not that bad because I had the cord, this cord, this was 35 feet, this cord was, so I cut about four foot off of it with the grinder, so I got a good clean grind, a good clean cut. Then we made this four foot cord, and I think this end and this end I had to buy, and that was $25 at Lowell's. Which I'm not sponsored by but anyway I thought I would show you that so <laughs> I basically converted the welder 220 plug to the stove <laughs> yeah so I can still use and then I ran it over to <clears throat> then I ran it down down to this shelf so the bump part is I got runs across this garage here and then I ran across this shelf where I've got a hook hanging uh -huh. more slack alright it does run across the garage door but I'll put a rug or something over it so I don't trip on it let me take you over here closer. Uh, let me aim you down and show you. Okay. Okay. This runs from the welder all the way over across my walk-in door. I'll put a rug over it so you don't trip over it. Then it runs over to... over to let me get on the other side of the stove you might be able to see better okay let me bring you up a little all right okay now I got a hook hooked onto this pole oh you can't see it okay there there you can see it Okay, I got a steel hook hooked onto this post, hanging down, and it's got a big hook on it that I can put the welder extension cord to. Then I can take. Da, 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 da. I'm sure you get the point by now. All right, the four foot extension cord, and I can plug this. Oops. cord up onto it's a, actually a double hook so I can hook that onto the double hook and then I can bring my stove wire up and plug it into here boom and so all your slack is actually hanging on this hook and you've got this is your welder extension cord, cord plugged into the four foot extension cord which is plugged into the stove which allows hang on a second let me angle you down a little bit okay i gotta go plug in the extension cord real quick hang on a second let me pause you for that i am back all right, which gives you power. And then, uh, let's see if I can figure out which one it is. Let's see, this is the front one. So we can just see the light lights up. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it glowing. Yeah. Yep. You hit the bake button. 
to clear first. So we hit bake. That lights up bake, and then you hit timer, and it tells you how long to put it on. So we hit clear, just like Dad gas stove. Got broil, which lights up and wants to know how long, and all that. These are your up and down buttons. And then you hit clear, make sure you shut it off. Yep, so and all four burners work. The, yeah. And then it's got a line in here. Boom! You can see inside. Yep. So anyway, uh, it was a little ingenuity. You know. <laughs> with a little ingenuity, <laughs> you can do. Yeah. With a little ingenuity, and you stop and... Oh, got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, it's just basics. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff, you know. So now, I'm not keeping it plugged in. I'm only going to plug it in when I'm using it. Now, the refrigerator, I have it plugged in all the time because I'm using it now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, just... Just something that I thought I would show you. Something that I made. Uh, I probably ain't gonna post the. It was a real long video of making that four foot, that four foot cord. So I probably ain't gonna post that one. But I thought I would show you what I was doing. And I don't know. My garage has got to be. Oh, it's thirty six feet deep. Yeah, it's thirty six foot. Or no, it's twenty. 28 by 36 something like that 28 by 36 and I still got cord you know so anyway uh, second chance garage Uncle Russ this is just something I was doing today uh, and then the last the Harbor Freight Hall I was just over there on that side shooting that video too so the long video I probably ain't gonna post of making the four foot you I mean it's it's got paper you know yeah you got papers right on the paper it gives you the instructions of what colors to hook up where and all that stuff right on the package that comes with the plug-in so anyway uh, that's what's going on if you like it subscribe uh, I'll probably be posting the Harbor Freight one and then this one right after it. The long one I'm just going to delete because it was just too long and boring. So, anyway, Uncle Russ, Second Chance Garage. I appreciate everybody watching the videos and stuff. I don't make any money off of it or nothing, but I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm just being honest. So... Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. That would help a lot. Second Chance Garage. Uncle Russ out.